Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of by beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Well, we did, what, three American IPAs, one Italian IPA. We're coming back to North America, but we're going up north to Canada. This is Alexander Keith's India Pale Ale. Now, this is a beer I've been wanting for four years, and I'll tell you why. Because I got this glass, that's the Alexander Keys IPA glass. I got this glass in Halifax in 2006 when I was on active duty in the Navy. I got this at the casino there. And Foe, better known as YouTube.com Weird Beer, he sent me this beer because, you know, he could get it easy and cheap, I'm sure. And it's finally, after four years, I'll get to drink the beer from the same glass. So. Um, anyways, uh, El Harlock sent me the white, which was okay. Um, this can makes me nervous. <laughs> it's like wrinkled. I don't know how metal wrinkles like that. Uh, let me just read the back here. It says, Alexander Keith brewed his beer slowly, using only the finest ingredients, carefully taking the time to get it right. The result was a smooth golden ale with a distinct taste. Today we still honor his commitment to excellence brewing his beer his way. I don't know how Alexander Keith is or was, but um, he's got a brewery named after him, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a, oh, it's only 5% ABV. Man, I thought that Sam Adams was low. So uh, let's see what the Canadians can do with an IPA. Well, at least it didn't fizz all over the place. That's good. That's one of the lightest, lightest beers I've seen in a while. That is, that's more of like a macro lager gold, you know. Very fizzy, very fizzy. Uh, that's the, it's a bright, bright white, kind of creamy head. Looks like it might stick around for a while. I don't know. Does it not smell like an IPA? It smells like. It smells like a lager. Yeah, it's like kind of grainy, uh, pilsnery kind of. All right, so let's check out the beer I've been wanting to try for four years. Not an IPA, Canada. What is wrong with you guys? That I'm gonna have to come up there and teach you guys how to make an IPA. That's not an IPA. That is like a, a pilsner or some kind of adjunct lager or something. Where do they get the balls calling this an IPA? This uh, is very uh, Coors, Molson, Labatt, Budweiser tasting to me. Um, it's a very light kind of crisp taste, you know, very pilsnery. It doesn't have that typical Canadian funk I tend to get in a lot of Molson's and Labette's. Um, more of like a clean European lager without the green bottle skunk. Gotta admit, it's actually kind of crisp and clean and kind of refreshing. Um, I wish it was, you know, July and, you know, about 100 degrees I hope this would really hit the spot, but it's got a bit of like a hop sweetness to it. Not much bitterness here at all. There's even like kind of a light, very, very light kind of floral note to it. And maybe even like a touch of like perfume. Yeah, like all those green bottle pale lagers and pilsners from Europe that I hate. This is what they're supposed to taste like. Unfortunately, they come in green bottles so they 
tastes like ass. Anyways, um, I'm going to look over this Alexander Keys IPA, and uh, we'll come back with my final thoughts. You know, if this was just labeled Golden Ale, Cream Ale, Pilsner, or something closer to what it actually is, I'd be like, you know, okay, I get it, and it's, you know, it's not bad. But to call it an India Pale Ale, I mean, like, I say, like, I don't judge on, you know, on a curve or a grade on a curve or whatever, but, you know, you go in with certain expectations to label the beer a certain style and to not even be close to that style, I mean, it's just asking for trouble. I should give this, like, a zero because it's so far off from the IPA style, but, you know, as a beer in general, it's not terrible. Um, it's just mediocre. Maybe even average. You know, like I said before, it's refreshing, it's clear, it's crisp, it's clean. Um, it would be great on a hot summer day. But um, now that it's like warming a little, I mean like a kind of toasted corn taste. It's tasting very adjunct, uh, macro lagerish. I'm starting to get like that uh, green apple sourness that you get like when a lot, when those these pale lagers tend to warm up. I don't even know if this is a lager. I mean, I, it tastes like a lager. At the very least, it's some kind of blonde golden ale. Very, very, you know, pedestrian, overtly. Um, so, was it worth a four year wait? No. But I'm glad I finally got to drink the beer out of the glass that I've had all these years. Um, as for the actual grade, I'm gonna go uh, four on this. It's uh, you know it's below average, mediocre, not a terrible beer. Um, it's a it's an epic fail as an IPA or an attempt at an IPA, I should say. But um, as a beer in general, it's you know it's it's not terrible. It's just you know nothing really nothing really good. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Cheers. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better That is not an IPA, Canada